in place. Goodbye owners, hello profit, it's all about the money, just my opinion. Martha, bullshit. Sorry, this is at, we're after 9.30. I don't really care what people think about my language. These are blatant, out and out lies. And I'm not gonna put up with it anymore. They are. They're attacking our integrity. There is nothing true in this. When this board was elected, when I was elected treasurer two years ago, one of the first things we set out to do was put a real budget in place and start to issue financials. Yep. We issue those financials four times a year. They're posted to a website. People want a copy, they're free to get them. We've held budget meetings. We've held meetings to explain how to read our financials. We had a budget information meeting in December. We went through all of these elements. I've written letters. I've written an article. Let, let us go under doors to make sure everybody gets them. This is out and out bullshit. Bob, your counsel, I want to know what can be done to stop this. Because you know what? It's affecting our property ownership. The value of my apartment is being affected by that. I'm working too hard here to try to increase the value of my apartment and everybody else that lives in the galaxy. To have one person, and I'm happy to read others. We've got a few minutes. I'll read others. We're just trying to spread bullshit throughout this place. I'd be happy to take the direction from the board to uh, come back to it with a recommendation as to what can be done. Want me to read one or two more? Yeah, I'm happy to do it, guys. Now, you know what else? The fact is, she was at these meetings, so she can't. Now, when she had these there, meetings, she saw that. How dare somebody say we have little or no reserves? We know exactly what they are. We have a balance sheet that's issued four times a year. Absolutely. What worries me, and I've said it time and time again. For the last two years, you know, I used to. The reason I ran for the board was because of the lack of, of direction, the lack of. Um, progress that was being made right. and I decided to run and I guess I was very fortunate because during that first year and this is my second year the people who sat around this table have accomplished an enormous amount of work we straighten out any conflicts of interest in the board they don't exist anymore right we don't fight at this we, we disagree but that's healthy but that's that's very that's healthy normal. but we've made progress and we've made progress on lots of fronts, including the manner in which we communicate with our homeowners. And the amount of communication. And the amount of communication. We've been backwards. We've Nobody had Nobody communicates more right. than Right. Bob has told me that there's no homeowners association that he works with that does this kind That's of right. work or meets with their homeowners. Or meets it off. 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 You know, and if I'm going to spend my time, I'm going to spend my time on positive energy, not negative energy. You, it's 150 hours of <laughs> Let me read something that was written by Miss Toke. This was on the, also the 20th of December. If you look at your first maintenance statement for 2004 with the huge debt service item, you will understand why we are being nickel and dimed to death. The fact is that the board, in its infinite wisdom, has committed us to repay money we haven't borrowed yet. That's true. Mm -hmm. We are being asked to take money away from ordinary maintenance and insurance premiums and use it for debt service. That's not true. Maybe I'm missing something here, but so far we have drawn down only a million dollars, and I don't even know how much we have taken, why we've taken that much given what's been done. We are being asked to pay $1.5 million this year to service a $1 million in debt, and we paid $1.6 million in 2003 to service the same debt. What is the board thinking about? Do you seriously think that this board and its horde of consultants and unqualified construction companies are going to do $8 million worth of repair and renovation in 2004? Unfortunately, the nickel and dime stuff won't cover the cost of maintaining our complex. Well, you know what? I'm glad she recognizes it's going to be expensive. Right. We laid out our plan to our homeowners last year. We reconfirmed the plan this year. We explained to our homeowners that we had 15 and a half to $16 million of work when we started. It's grown to somewhere between 19 and $20 million. We explained to everybody, we had a presentation in the spa. We sent out a memo to everybody. It explained to them that the only way to logically pay for this was to spread it over a period of time. And we put together a plan. We spent months working on that plan. We worked with our outside accountant on that plan. We worked with as many advisors as we possibly could. And we put together a plan that showed we would borrow X amount of dollars, which was 12 and a half million. It would cost us 15 and a half or 16 million in total with interest. We would, we would pay interest only for the first three years. The last four, we'd pay principal and interest, so we paid it down. We put together a cash flow. We showed that we're not gonna use all that money in the first year, and we're not gonna use it in the second or the third year. We're going to use it over a period of time, but we level load, loaded it so that people wouldn't be burdened with these huge payments in a very short period of time. For the benefit of the owner. Miss Toke knew that. She knows that. No, she can read. She's gotten letters. There was an article written on a page in our newspaper 
She was at the last budget meeting. So why, again, would this be posted to Galaxy Tax? And by the way, why would I get a two-page letter asking the exact same questions that were all answered already? You, you know what? Out, you left Joel out one has thing. Your, has your answer. The you answer is they don't want to hear it. You left out one thing that's very no what important. You, you had all of these meetings. You had all these professionals. You had all of this stuff in at great expense. Mm -hmm. Right. You left mm -hmm. that out. And that's the problem. That is the problem. And why would she do that? To get the response that you get. Well, you know what? You're absolutely right, Joel. I forgot to add that we also hire people that are well dressed and speak English so she can go out there and photograph them. Right. If she would spend less money on photographs, she'd have more money to spend on her apartment. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> no, no, but let, me, let me make one more statement. The last I love it. I love it. When I became a board member for the first time, we walked into a very difficult time, if you recall. The first slide oh, yeah. I had with was, oh, I how are we going to pay $750,000 of insurance? That was my first challenge. Okay? We got through that debacle. That went up to okay? a million. And it went up to a million. million. Then we were confronted with a garage that's falling apart, a fire safety system that doesn't work, lobbies that are disgusting at this Every point. Everything works. It, it works. works. It works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> no, no, sorry. You're right. You're right. I apologize. I'm going there now. It works. I, I, I got we some bent up frustration here, guys. <laughs> Okay, but we were confronted with an enormous amount of stuff that Everything had to be dealt with. Everything peaked at once. Right, okay? We're working through it. But you know what? We need the time and the energy to work on positive right. things and developments, not to deal with all this crap that's coming through. Right. I am not going to sit here and explain things over and over and that's over right. again when they've been explained. And they've been explained clearly and carefully. I'm not going to do it over and over and over again. I, I agree think that if people don't understand it, it's unfair for them to post their misunderstanding of it in a public place and frighten our residents and reduce your Well, you know values. what? Some of the, uh, with all due respect, Pooja's is not about not understanding. These are blatant, intentional lies right. and accusations. Right. This is not about misunderstanding. Right. This is the way the woman operates. Okay. 